Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze a fixed beam when its ends are fixed at different levels. In this fixed beam, you can see that both of the supports are at different levels. The support B is lower than the support A, that means it is sinking. In this analysis, we are going to find the fixed end movements and reactions. Also, we are going to draw the shear force diagram and the bending moment diagram. Let us keep MA as the fixed end movement in the point A. Let us assume that it is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Let us keep MB as the fixed end movement in the point B. Since there is no load, let us assume that MB is also acting in the anticlockwise direction. RA and RB are the vertical reactions. Let us keep delta as the difference of level between the supports. In this beam, let us make a section xx at a distance of x from the point A, Ei d power 4 y upon dx power 4 is the loading in the beam. In this beam, there is no loading. So, Ei d power 4 y upon dx power 4 will be 0. Let us integrate this with respect to x. We will get Ea d cube y upon dx cube. On the other side, we will have the constant Ea d cube y upon dx cube is the shear force. When x is 0, the shear force is Ra. Since Ra is acting upwards, it will be positive. In this equation, instead of this, we can apply Ra. So C1 is Ra. Instead of C1, let us apply Ra. Let us integrate this equation on both of the sides. When we integrate this, we will get Ea d square y upon dx square. When we integrate Ra, we will get Ra x. C2 is the constant. Ea d square y upon dx square is the movement. When x is 0, the movement is Ma. Ma is acting in the anticlockwise direction. So it will be negative. In this equation, instead of Ea d square y upon dx square, let us apply minus Ma. And instead of x, let us apply 0. When we do that, we are getting C2, which is equal to minus Ma. In this equation, instead of C2, let us apply minus Ma. Now, let us integrate this equation on both of the sides. When we integrate d square y upon dx square, we will get dy upon dx. When we integrate these two terms, we will get this. C3 is the constant. We know that dy upon dx is the slope. In the point A, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, when x is 0, the slope dy upon dx is 0. In this equation, let us apply x is 0 and dy upon dx is 0. When we do that, we are getting C3, which is 0. We got the value of C3. So, in this equation, for C3, let us apply 0. When we do that, we are getting this. This is the equation for the slope. Let us keep this equation as number 1. Now, let us integrate this equation 
on both the sides. When we integrate ea dy upon dx, we will get ea y. When we integrate x square, we will get x power 3 upon 3. When we integrate x, we will get x square upon 2. We know that y is the deflection. In the point A, there is a fixed support. This fixed support is not sinking, so there will be no deflection. In this case, we can make a condition. When x is 0, y will be 0. In this equation, let us apply x is 0 and y is 0. When we do that, we are getting C4. For C4, we are getting 0. In this equation, let us apply the value of C4. When we do that, we are getting this. This is the equation for the deflection. Let us keep this equation as number 2. The support B is sinking. It is sinking at the depth of delta. So, when x is L, the deflection y is delta. Since the support B is sinking downwards, we have to apply a negative sign with the delta. In this equation, let us apply x is L and y is minus delta. When we do that, we are getting this. Let us keep this equation as number 3. Now, let us take the second equation, that is the slope equation. In the point B, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, when x is L, dy upon dx will be 0. Let us apply these values in this equation. When we do that, we will get these. From here, let us take minus mal on the right side, it will become positive and let us take L square upon 2 on the right side, it will come inversely. Then let us eliminate L and square. Finally for RA, we are getting 2 ma upon L. In the third equation, instead of RA, let us apply 2 ma upon L. Let us eliminate L and here it will be square. Also, let us eliminate 2. Here it will be 3. Here we can take LCM. Let us keep 6 as common. We have to multiply this term with 2 on the numerator and denominator and this term with 3 on the numerator and denominator. Finally, we will get this 2mal square minus 3mal square, we will get minus mal square. Then, we can eliminate the negative sign. Finally, for ma, we are getting 6a delta upon l square. Now, here, instead of ma, we can apply this value and find out ra. You can see that instead of ma, I have applied this value. 2 into 6, we will get 12. L into L square, we will get L cube. So, for Ra, we are getting 12 Ea delta upon L cube. For Ra, we got a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. It is acting upwards. Let us assume Rb is also acting upwards. Let us apply the rule sigma v is 0. Since Ra and Rb are acting upwards, both of them are positive. Here, let us apply the value of Ra. Then, take it on the right side. It will come as negative. For Rb, we will get a negative value. That means our assumption is incorrect. We assumed that Rb is acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. Now, I am going to find out Mb. 
For that, I am going to take movement about B from the point A. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. RA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive and the distance is L. MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. We can eliminate L. Here it will be square. Then let us take minus MB on the other side. It will be positive. When we add these two values, we will get 6EA delta upon L square. For MB, we got a positive value. That means our assumption is correct. MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now we are going to draw the shear force diagram. I am going to calculate the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. You can see the shear force values. Using the values, we can make the shear force diagram. Now, we are going to draw the bending moment diagram. Since there is no load in this beam, we can easily make the bending moment diagram. Bending moment at just to right of A can be found easily by using the rule right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. The bending moment at just to left of B can be found using the left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. MB is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be positive. Using that concept, we can make the bending moment diagram. In this question, in the given beam, support B is sinking. For this condition, we have formed the fixed end moments MA and MB. Both are acting in the anticlockwise direction. Now, let us see a fixed beam in which support A is sinking. Here, the formula for the fixed end moments will be same, but these fixed end moments will be acting in the clockwise direction. Alternatively, we can find out the fixed end moments. For that, we have to separate the fixed beam in the center. In the center, we have to find the deflection. For L, the deflection is delta. So, for L, it is delta. But, I need to find the deflection in the center. In the center, the length is L upon 2. Let us apply that. Finally, we are getting delta upon 2. So, the deflection in the center is delta upon 2. Let us take the left part of the fixed beam and assume that it is a cantilever beam. Let us consider a cantilever beam of span L and carrying a point load W at the free end. The deflection under the point load is WL cube upon 3EI. We are going to use this formula and find out the fixed end moment MA. We are only considering the left half of the fixed beam. So, in the formula, instead of L, we have to apply L upon 2. Here, the deflection is delta upon 2. So, instead of delta, we have to apply delta upon 2. After the simplification, 
we are getting W tol EI delta upon L cube to find out MA I am going to take moment about A in this case I am moving towards left hand side clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive the point load is acting towards the point A in the clockwise direction so it will be negative and the distance is L upon 2 let us assume that MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction so it will be positive we can eliminate this 2 and here it will be 6 also we can eliminate L here it will be square finally for MA we are getting 6 EA delta upon L square we got a positive value that means MA is acting in the anticlockwise direction our assumption is correct since the point load is acting downwards RA should be acting upwards but both of them will be having the same value in the fixed beam we have found RA and MA now let us take moment about B when we take moment about B we can find MB now we are going to end this session thank you for watching this video